Paul McFadden here. So I often tell a story about how my first property deal I made £1,000. In that first property deal, the strategy that I used was a property trade. Now, I'm surprised that so many people ask that question because I tell the story a lot, but so many people ask the question, Paul, what was your first deal? How did you do it? And a question I got this week was, Paul, can you break your first deal down to the steps that you actually took? So I thought, well, why not hit record and talk about it? So let me pre-frame and tell you what happened before I did my first property deal, because once I first get exposed to this idea of investing property, it was two months after that I did this deal. So the age of 19, I have just got a job in computing and IT for a company through in Livingston called Capito. So I was working in IT, and during that time, I went along to uh, an event that was in the Radisson Hotel in Glasgow by an American company and they were talking about different ways of getting started in property, how if you got started you could make a lot of money in property, how the, the property prices were doubling every 10 years. This was all before 2008's recession. So at that time, I'm sitting in the back of the room looking like I was 12 years old because I was extremely baby-faced, if you can imagine it, 19 years old. I was well out of my comfort zone, but I wanted something different, so I went along to the seminar and had my mind blown away. Now, they never really taught much, they just shared the idea and how much money could be made and how property is a phenomenal investment, and then they pitched a £25,000 training, which obviously I never had the money. So my situation at the time there being 19 is I never had money. I never had the contacts, never had the knowledge, never had the experience. I'd already started to mess up my credit, so getting mortgages was out the question. So from my point of view, I never had much. Plus, I looked like I was 12 years old. So I had all the things that would normally hold someone back from getting started in a property journey, but I didn't allow it to be the thing that held me back. So went along to that seminar. Then after that, I literally started looking online. So I just went on to Google and Ask Jeeves and searched online and looking for networking events or you know property events. I looked for anything I could find that had the word property in it. And there happened to be a property networking event which was happening in Glasgow, which was in the Jury's Inn Hotel. So I went along to that and I'm in that room and there was about 20 people there. And all I did was just sit there and listen to everyone talk, it was open forum, and the common thing that I could hear is people couldn't find deals. They couldn't find deals. So I would ask a question to someone who says, well, what kind of deals are you looking for? What is a property deal? What makes a property deal? And the thing that they kept on saying was, if you can buy at discount, ideally, you know, below 15% below market value. So if the property's worth 100, you want to buy it for less than 85. So that's all I heard really. So I just picked up some key facts and those key facts was there's a room of about 20 plus people here who can't find deals and a deal in their mind is something that's got a 15% plus discount. So this all happened within a month from the month of, from the beginning of going to the, the training kind of seminar to this networking event. And then what I did is did the only thing that I knew that, that you could do, which was to go and book viewings with estate agents. Now, I must have, in a three week period, I must have viewed about 40 properties, literally 40 properties, and it was extremely uncomfortable because I had no idea what I was looking for and I just stuck to my local area. Now, that's not what I necessarily recommend nowadays, but that's what I did back then. So growing up in the south side of Glasgow in a place called Pollock, the first place I started looking at was Pollock, right? So I looked at Pollock and, and, and other areas surrounding there. And what happened is some estate agents would take me out and they would ask me where my parents were. And, I, and when I told them that I was interested in buying or I even told them that I was maybe looking to, to find a property for an investor. And they say, well, the investor can just get in touch and why would they want you to do it? Because they just couldn't believe that a 19 year old was looking at properties. But one person in particular, one estate agent, did take me seriously and later on I found that he saw a lot of him and me and that's why he gave me the time. And he took me through a few properties and he says, what is, your, what is it you're looking for? I says, well, my investors, which I referenced the people in the networking event, are looking for 15% below market value deals. 
and he, nothing to do with me, he helped me find a deal. He just happened to have a property that he was about to put on the market. So timing was just so perfect. That it's happened to be a seven, that could be agreed at 17% below market value. So I thought, that's perfect. That's what my investors want. So he printed off like a PDF document with pictures of the property, information about the property, how we could buy it at this price, what the value of the property would be and all of this. And I went back to that networking event. So it'd been two months from the very day that I went to a property seminar. It'd been one month since I went to the last property networking event. So I went back again after viewing a bunch of properties and having this paper in my hand with a deal. And then I basically put my hand up and said that I had a 17% below market value deal. People would come up to me, one person in particular sat next to me and he went through the deal and it was an experienced investor. So he knew what he was looking for. So he was looking for the paperwork and he said, yeah, I will do that deal. And then he asked me how much I would want for that deal. And I had no idea what to charge. And because I wasn't buying the property myself, because I wasn't investing myself, you know, I never had the money. I was doing what a trade is. So I was basically saying, look, if you want to buy that, what would you pay me? And I basically said, well, a thousand pounds. And that's what happened. That was my first deal and he paid me a thousand pounds. And the reality is I never done much other than getting out there, put myself out there, being prepared to go and view some properties, being prepared to go to some networking events, be prepared to talk to people. And that was it. And doing that first deal within two months of getting started was the best thing that could ever happen to me because my confidence levels went through the roof, my belief in myself that I could do this went through the roof and that there was a catalyst and a trigger point that really pushed me to continue my property journey. Because I think if I had, if I got more knockbacks and because at the beginning it was tough for me because some estate agents weren't taking me seriously. And even when I presented that deal to the investors, a lot of people thought I was, you know, like, who's this young guy? Because back then there wasn't that many young, like young people around and being involved in property. I mean, I was the youngest person in my circle of property people for many years. Nowadays it's very different. A lot of younger people are going through. But back then it wasn't the case. So that was my first property deal. There's no rocket science to it, it's very simple. And that's what you need to understand. I mean, if you just grab a couple of copies of my books, you'll have more information than I had in the first five years of my property journey. This one in particular will help you get so much clarity in what a deal is, um, how to do things, how to put deals out, you name it. Your property jumps out and get these books on Amazon. And this is what you should do. This is what I wish I did when I first got started my property journey, get more education, more knowledge. But that was the steps that I did to get my first deal. There was nothing but just doing simple little things, common sense things. And sure, I go into a lot more detail, help people fast track their journey. This is what we do in a property protege uh, event. It's a 12 month mentorship program. That's something that you're maybe thinking about getting started in property then hey, head over to propertyprotege.com or if you're already involved in property or looking to accelerate that, then go to propertyprotege.com. We can help you do that. And of course, as always, make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell to be notified when my videos drop. If you're listening on the podcast player, make sure you're subscribed there too. So all the best and bye for now.